Worthen FC TV with Adam Hinchwood following a one on draw with Slough Town and National South. Adam, uh, how do you feel after that one? Um, yeah, obviously uh, a bit disappointed um, when you play against nine men. Um, but I think that sort of seemed to uh, rally them, to be honest. And in hindsight, it works out the worst thing that could have happened to us. Um, you know, they got a little bit of spirit from it and defended well. And I think we showed a real lack of quality to, to break nine men down. And, um, you know, it was on the other side of it on Tuesday night. And you know, it felt like a, a win after, you know, going so much of the game with 10 men um, and then today obviously it feels like a bit more of a defeat um, so yeah disappointed with larger elements of, of the game to be honest. Talking about the performance do you think it came down to tiredness it's been three games in about seven days with one coming on Tuesday. No not at all no not at all oh, I think you know it, we got to deal with it. It's this league, isn't it? You play Saturday, Tuesday every week, and we can't use any excuses. There's no excuses. We was poor, poor performances. When we got into the final third, we didn't. We had to put Aaron Racine up front to try and get a goal. You know, our forward players didn't create enough. Um, when Miki did go past someone, he then smashed the ball across, and you know, Finney Chabot was. I thought he was the only one who looked like scoring at times. Um, but you know, we just got. To, you try and other things to, to try and get um, Mo on, maybe you can get a goal and, and stuff like that. But yeah, I thought it was it was poor, poor today and you know, like I say, in hindsight, probably the worst thing that happened was us playing against nine. Yeah, they looked really up for it after that. It just seemed like they were they were on every ball, they were a little bit more more keen. Performance wise, was there anything in the team that you liked? Was there anything positive? Um, no, not really. Um, I thought their striker got the better of our two centre halves. Um, you know, in the second half it was 2v1 and he was causing us some problems. Um, they looked probably more of a threat to score from set pieces. Um, we kept playing it short and giving it away. Um, I say so, yeah, it's, it's a really disappointing night. I thought we looked really young. Um, like to give youth players an opportunity, but, you know, I think, you know, when a game like today, you probably need a bit more experience out there to see you through. Um, so, yeah, it is what it is. Um, you know, we, we like to do things that way and give youngsters an opportunity when they're ready. But, um, you know, same time, they've got to take their opportunities when they when they come. Um, you know, we, we don't want to hide behind the amount of players we're missing today. Kane Wills is away. Um, Ibi injured. Liam Hill. Um, David Vidari injured. Uh, Tati still injured, you know. Um, because I think we've got the squad to, to be able to cope with that. Um, but yeah, maybe in, in hindsight that bit of experience would have just seen us through to it. What do you think needs to change going into Tuesday? Um, whew, hell of a lot really. Um, it's a completely different test again. Um, they absolutely humiliated us at home. So hopefully, hopefully that will give us a bit of incentive uh, to go there and you know play with a bit more hunger um, and desire. But uh, yeah, I thought we got the ball into the final third enough today and like you look at the stats I think final third entries and crosses and stuff there'll be a lot uh, but not enough successful um, and that makes a difference and that's what they'll do on Tuesday night you know they'll get into them areas and they'll they'll put them away um, and that's what we've got to be better at. One of the things probably missed Ibia can be for today as well it could have been someone who could have gotten the end of those. No yeah like I say we, we missed some big players there's, there's no getting away from it but um, with that you know that's why you have a youth structure to be able to back up when you when you've got injuries and um, you know we've got to, got, to, got to stand up and, and, and take take their opportunities when they come and um, you know we obviously haven't done that today.